I remember it like it was yesterday. The greatest and worst thing that's ever happened in my life. The boss came, shoved me out, and said, Sheldon, you're fired. Sheldon, you're fired. I started three days ago, though. Richard's sporting goods store will be better without you. Well, wait! That moment, I felt defeated. Like everything in the world had gone bad. That was my third job I lost in that week. It became known to me that I was becoming oblivious to my surroundings, not caring what was going on. I had strange encounters with strange people. Excuse me, sir, I'm a Jehovah's no. Witness. Not now. And then, something happened that changed my life forever. same day, I realized that the town I was living in was not a safe town for pedestrians. I stopped thieves from taking wallets, phones, and even car keys. I'm still somebody's whip. Who would, who would want to steal a Nissan Altima? Beats me. I remember becoming a role model for young kids and even adults. Heck, I even remember walking out of a restaurant one time and a 58-year-old man asked me for my autograph. I thought it was a pervert at first, but it turned out it was my uncle. Hi, I'm our speaker. It's a hometown hero. It's an honor to have him here. Mr. Chicken Man. It was going so well. Until three days later, I ran into a man who had other plans than what I had. <laughs> I found you, sickin' man. The name's Churches, Mr. Sickin' Man. And I've been looking for you for quite a while now. I don't like you. I think you're all cool, doing childish good deeds. You should go back to the daycare center for that, son. Call yourself a chicken? You really are, but you're a coward. I eat chickens every night. Non stereotypical. But, uh. Like, what are we gonna do about this? Handle this like men? Or are we gonna fight? The handling lies that this men part of So, um. What do you wanna do, chicken? Give me two clucks for rock, paper, scissors, one cluck for five. What cluck?
Your time is over. My time is now. After my encounter with churches, my whole world crumbled. I knew it was a stupid idea to begin with, but I thought I could actually make a difference in this world, but churches proved me wrong. I was a phony and a fraud in his eyes, and he just made me look like one in front of the whole county. As I walked through the streets, broken and defeated. I looked around at the little children who saw me as a role model, having their very own chicken mask on their head. That made me feel worse. I saw crimes happen before my eyes and I didn't even do anything. Heck, I even committed some crimes myself. I decided to move away from the city, to get away from society and live on my own. Dude, we gotta find chicken. Church is taking over. I think I know where he is. Follow me. Hey, hey, stop. There he is. Hmm. Come for an autograph? Chicken man, you gotta do something. Church is taking over the world. Churches, really? You think I care? I don't care. He's hurting a lot of people, man. What do you want me to do about it? You saw what he did to me. But he probably would have heard about it on the news. But it's your responsibility. Listen, okay? Don't call me Chicken Man. That's not my name. I'm done with it. You guys should just leave right now. I looked up to you. Now I know you're nothing but a fraud. Whoa, whoa. So, you guys are fans of uh, Chicken Coward, huh? What's wrong? Fans of Chicken Man. Heard him back there. He's nothing but a coward. Yeah, you got me? Boo! Chicken man has but phony. Baloney. Piece of red, no water. I'm none of those things! Chicken man! Where'd you get another mask? E Harmony? No. E Bait. Idiot. You ready for round two? I was born ready. Actually, you were not. Um, like your eyes were closed and you were born to save the talking. Ah, that was my kidney. <coughs> What's the matter, churches? You chicken? For the chicken wing. Ah, 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 ah. You did it! I know. I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat some chicken. That's cannibalism, you sicko!